Let's go. I'm a rock waller, I'm a rough rider, baby. I'm like that waller. I'm like Yoji Yamamoto. I got three strikes. These nights couldn't walk a mile in these air nights. But it's all in my head, right? I'm a little scombobulated. Goddamn, I'm feeling miserable. I swear I did my part. I gave them all my heart. Chiefs Gates, I'm such a beefcake. Plus, I need my sweet steaks. They acting friendly on the net. That shit be deep fake. Tell me what you want to do. In your location. What's up? My name is Ramsey. You are watching Gawker. We are live DTK. I got a couple new songs to play for you guys, so rock with me. Let's get it. Hey, hey. I know it's hard. Things are quickly changing outside. Outside, they don't want to see me outside. Outside, no, they rather see me out of mind. Hey, I know you feel me. Don't go into the night unless you're ready to fight. Don't go into the night unless you're ready to fight. Stay with me. Down your window glass house looking too loud and these rocks round glass yeah, house. Yeah, and these rocks round me, they bring you down and they pick me up just to take me down. Twist one up when I'm feeling now and I twist it up when I'm feeling down and I give no fuck when I'm feeling now. So look at you, stick with me. Got a feeling like they know me, the own me. Why you acting like you owe me? You know me, second life is slipping slowly. I know you feel me, don't go into the night unless you're ready to fight. Hey, 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 so don't go into the night unless you're ready to fight. Stay with me, keep it low, with that empathy, ducking out. Hey, hey, so don't go into the night unless you I'm Stephanie Scott. I'm an artist and designer, primarily focusing on murals and large-scale installations, as well as environmental branding and illustration. I wanted something that would 
kind of welcome people to the space and incorporate an element of, of the branding itself, but take it in a slightly different, more artful direction. So I did a more geometric version of the 44 um, with, you know, kind of this organic background in between. So that contrast of the really hard lines of the four um, with a really like almost painterly kind of swirly background in behind. I wanted something that people could interact with when they first entered the space, something to kind of spark their interest beyond just marking it as 44 Gockle. Something that really spoke to what this space is, the types of people that that it's for the type of community that would be within this space, which is more focused on arts and creativity, and get people excited and interacting with something as soon as they got into the space. So this piece itself um, has an element of augmented reality. So through the Artivive app, um, when you hold up a phone or a tablet to the piece, the swirls behind the 44 actually start to move as if you're like mixing paint to kind of speak to that creative vibe and atmosphere of 44 Gockel. So the corridor is a really unique kind of space, um, something that I've never encountered and probably never will encounter again in a project. Because it's such a low ceiling, um, I couldn't really do anything too illustrative because it doesn't give you enough room to really grasp the overall visuals of it. So I felt the best approach would be to do something geometric, first off using the, you know, the shape of the corridor as the foundation for it, and then just a simple gradient from end to end, because that would be easy to grasp visually as you walk through it. And you'd have that impact of standing at one end and it's yellow, and looking down at the other end and seeing it go to green, to blue, to purple, or vice versa, depending on which end you're at. It's kind of the heart of the space. So I really wanted to give people something to experience as they're walking the length of the building. And as you're under it, you can't really, if you look up as you're walking under it, you can't really see it change. But once you get to the end, you see that gradient. And I really liked that element too, because it's such a long corridor, you can have that subtle change and not really notice it as you're walking. And then you get the impact when you turn around or look at it from end to end. So what I like about these two pieces is first off that they're very different from other stuff that I've done and they're very unique to this space. I think that's what I really appreciate about them the most is that they couldn't exist in this form in any other space, especially the corridor one, because that was so custom designed to such a unique architectural feature. Also the 44 being my only augmented reality piece, the only piece I've done so far that has that type of digital component to it. Um, it's very unique in that aspect. And then also because it's, it's the placemaking for, for this building, right? It's, it's very custom and specific to 44 Gockel. And also to the, the challenges, like for me creatively, these are two things I hadn't done before. Um, I've painted a little bit on ceilings since this, but um, they were just a really, a really actually very fun, um, fun creative hurdle and kind of problem solving exercise for me. So that is really what I appreciate as well about this project. Thinking about the old me, and my friends think I changed up. I guess our time was made up. I guess some, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about the old me, and I don't think I go back. No ifs, no ands, no throwbacks. Cause some, yo, yo, yo. Hey, 
Don't cry away The sun won't shine like it's yesterday The moon won't shine unless you smile today Unless the smile was fake, unless the smile was fake I mean, fake it till you make it, my love Everybody's feeling locked up, yeah And life is too short to act smug Everybody wanna act thug, yeah Don't be shy and shade your potential Can't you see it's all so simple? See yourself reflect through the window It's time to let it go It's time to think about the old me And I don't think I changed up I guess our time was made up I guess some people never change I'm think about the old me And I don't think I go back No it's no ends, no throwbacks Cause some people Yo, yo, yo if I grow, then we'll grow together, near or far, and through stormy weathers. I hope for the better. If I change, I hope that you next up. Yeah, sick of being sick of myself, putting up in my own hell. I need to rebuild, flipping through all my details. I'm just trying to follow my thrills, follow my. They tell you shit, then you move so properly. Lost in this world, then this life monopoly. Something feels wrong in this meteorocracy. Yo, I know you feel me, I'm saying whoa I'm just trying to wake up and follow my soul You're never too young and you're never too old To chase a new dream, so follow your souls With me, I'm thinking about the old me And my friends think I changed up I guess our time was made up I guess some people never change I'm thinking about the old me And I don't think I go back No it's no ends, no throwbacks Cause some things never stay the same Don't ever try to hold me back Don't ever try to hold me back Don't ever try to, don't ever try to And if you got someone trying to tell you what you can and can't do in your life I need you to look them dead in the face Play this song and tell them I'ma do whatever I want I'ma believe in me And nobody stops me Hey, hey, stay the same. I think about the old me, and my friends think I changed up. I guess our time was made up. I guess some things just never change. Woo! Yeah, I think we got time for one more. We're still rocking it at the Gawker Show. My name is Ramsey Almighty. I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, this is some exclusive stuff, so please do not leak this. <laughs> This last track is called Who That Is. Yeah. Yeah. Dark place, now I'm in a bright room Spinning like a typhoon, moving like a tycoon I was on the net like, I don't even like Zoom Cover up that webcam, I don't even like you Find me in the night, in the night, in the night, in the night With the gang, it's deeper for for life I did my thing, no beat around that bush All I needed was that push, now I'm back off And say now who that there, who that is All up on the internet, why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Who that there, who that is All up on the internet, why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Who that there, who that is All up on the internet, why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Who that there, who that is All up on the internet, why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Damn, I'm just trying to get me on the crypto Watch me dance like Calypso Move on that beat when I twist instrumental Foam from that mouth like Pepsi or Mentos Sipping handy from the fountain of the youth Dox myself cause I ain't got nothing to lose Paranoia made it hard for you to sleep I ain't taking what the doctor made for me Found these son is in the second grade Body lines like my name was Trisha A and now my cousins got felonies Mama, thank God that your boy pushed melodies Yeah, black Air Force activity Dirty white van still trying to get rid of me yeah. It's a mosh pit, baby, not a potluck They making moves in this city, but they not us Now who that there? All up on the internet Why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Who that there? Who that is? All up on the internet Why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Who that there? Who that is? All up why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Who that there? Who that is? All up on the internet. Why you talking all that? Why you talking all that? Damn. My name's Ramsey Almighty. You're watching the Gawker Show. Thank you for rocking with me.
ships. I was born in the largest port in Africa, Durban. I think when I was about four and a half, five years old, we moved to a new house and overlooking the Indian Ocean. It was a lovely house, but that's another story. There was a lot of debris left over, wood. I picked up bits of wood and in my mind's eye turned them into ships and I spent hours and hours pushing these bits of wood all, over, all around the backyard. Some of them were frigates, some of them were cruisers, some of them were ships of the line. I started this series four and a half years ago. With these kinds of things, you can feel an insistence to them. I can remember 40 years ago making a series of little porcelain figurines that I think came from the same place. And they needed to get out, they wanted to get out, and I could you'd feel a pressure inside. It was exactly the same with these ships. And what I felt as these started to come out in 17, 18, 19, they were disconcerting. These are not terribly happy looking things. Uh, these ships are saying, we're here with a message, you better listen. And I was puzzled because I got that message right away spring of 2017. Well, of course, late winter of 2020, we all got the message. Um, this is big. It's not just a pandemic. It's the whole shift of a culture and something is breaking down. To me, it's wrapped up very much with technology. Uh, I've been doing art now for over 50 years and one of the big things I've had to grapple with is how do you balance technology with culture? Uh, I'm not a Luddite, I'm fascinated by technology, uh, especially digital. It's just astonishing what it can do, but it's run away with us, and this is very dangerous. This is a brand new one, it's not finished. This one I find very disconcerting because I'm still working on it. It's the tip of a farm plow or cultivator, but it's very aggressive. It uh, has a very martial look to it, and yet this is the newest one. So that makes me a little nervous. These ships unfold in time, and time is part of the recipe for them. It's rather like cuisine. You're adding certain ingredients, but if you don't want junk food, you have to add the right amount of ingredients at the right time. Some of them fall together quite quickly. This piece of steel waited for years and years, and then about a month ago, pieces started to fall in. The rest of the recipe, if you like, and it started to come together quite quickly. It's something like a puzzle. You take all these disparate pieces and you play with them, just as I did when I was a kid in the backyard. And gradually, something forms. What I love about these is that they're very evocative. And that's what inspired the way I photographed them. I, I could have just gone in photographed a uh, moonlight scene on Lake Ontario with water and then digitally inserted the boat into the <laughs> photograph. But that would have been too literal an environment for these pieces to live. What I wanted to do was to create, and I did it in the studio, a, an evocative environment for them. So it feels a little bit like moonlight on the water. It feels there's a sense of purpose a sense of, of the, the ship emerging from a, a dark background. I've been a photographer a long time. I photograph architecture, landscape design, interior design, and I photographed artwork with some artists in the past. And I always feel like there's a sensitivity that I have to be aware of, the, where I really need to feel like I'm hearing what you were trying to say with the work and then I'm interpreting it or even amplifying it. What I liked so much about the, your photos, John, was that you were giving your own interpretation, but the ship seemed to be at low tide, and it's at low tide when things come up mm -hmm. from below the surface. You gave me the best response of anyone I've ever collaborated with. Hmm. 
I pulled the image up on the screen for you to see and you were standing behind me and at the moment the image came up on the monitor I heard <gasps> yeah, and I thought that's what I want yeah, it, was an, <laughs> right it was instinctive that's what I want yeah because you you put the shamanic ships into a shamanic world of water and water but not water um, water is a metaphor it's funny the the way I photographed them was the very first image that popped into my head when I knew that I would be photographing them. Sometimes in my work, you have so many other voices in the room and subsequently in your head, the art director, the client, the graphic designer and so forth, the layout or the storyboard that someone has already created. Sometimes even in the middle of the shoot, somebody suddenly voices their suggestion or their idea. Yeah. And so it's a mo constantly moving target. But what I enjoy the most is when I see something just like that in my head. And then as soon as I get that photo, I feel that I'm done. Technology is always sort of the, loud, the, the loudly banging drum. It's very insistent. It's very immediate. But culture, to me, feels more like the movement of the tide. It's inevitable. It's coming, even if you don't seem aware of it. And that's what I think I find so interesting about these, because they're, if I were to just come up with a series of adjectives, it's evocative of movement, of water, of motion, even in, in this one and some other ones of speed, but there's no technology here. Um, there's craft, which goes back thousands of years, but there, there isn't technology of the moment. And so they have a kind of timeless quality to them, which I think is, is really at the, the beating heart of the piece. You could show that to somebody who lived their whole lifetime a thousand years ago and he would say that's a boat one thing that we need that we don't always know is for your path to intersect with another artist and i'm reminded of you know great figures that lived at the same time in history culture invention where two people were working on something equally valuable but then when they met something entirely new happened Oh,